Sorry about that. Hey guys, Maximus here, and welcome back to another video. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird, but um, we're doing all FNAF games ranked easiest to hardest, meaning the number eight is the easiest and number one is the hardest. Let's begin. So you've already seen it. FNAF World. Yeah, I counted it on this list. It's pretty easy. Uh, some points it's hard, like getting Fredbear, for example. I did that off camera, and I got Spring Bonnie. Spring Bonnie wasn't hard, but Fred will bear. It was like a nightmare. It was about an hour to get. And um, the Rainbow Boss, how you gotta go through a labyrinth before you get to him. I'm guessing the Rainbow's a boy. That's annoying! So annoying! So, yeah. Number 7, FNAF 3. Yeah, so... If you're not counting FNAF World, I think FNAF 3 is the easiest FNAF games. I... Out of the FNAF games. But, I know a lot of people will probably disagree with me. But, personally, I really find FNAF 3 to be easy. I mean... Um, like, on my old computer, I beat Nightmare Mode on my very first try. But, and then, like, getting the good ending, I mean, that can be hard, and, yeah. I mean, it's not, the mini games aren't hard, but, like, how you have to go through every night again. So, what I basically do whenever I play FNAF 3 is just get the good ending, and then you'll get three stars. Or you'll get, like, the stars you need and to beat, and then you gotta beat Nightmare Mode. And then you have unlocked everything, because you got the good ending, and not the bad ending. So, yeah. Next, we got FNAF 1. And, this is probably my favorite FNAF game out of all of the FNAF games. I mean, telling by my channel, I really like the first FNAF. I've beaten it, and surprisingly, I beat it flawlessly. I promise, guys, I did not die at all off camera. Soon, I'm planning to do a 2020-2020 mode run. See if I can beat it? Probably not. I mean, I know the strategy, close um, right door, and then check both doors. Open right door, and then... Check. So, yeah. Just keep doing that the whole night and you'll be good. Number 5, FNAF 4. Yeah. I mean, FNAF 4, it's... it's This is getting hard. Like, those three were, were easier before this, but this is where it starts getting into the hard territory. And FNAF 4, yeah, it's hard, but it's not impossible. I mean, yeah, it's breathing, so you should have your volume pretty high and wear some headphones. That will help out a lot. Just do it on computer. On mobile, it's pretty hard. I've tried it. Oh, boy. And then, number four is FNAF 6. As you can see, I got some pictures here. FNAF 6 is another one of those games that I really like, and I play it a lot on my channel. And... Yeah, I have, like, a few videos on this. I mean, I have a few videos on, like, a few of the FNAF games. FNAF World, FNAF 6, FNAF 1, FNAF, Sister Location, I'm pretty sure that's it. Soon I want to record FNAF 3. Soon. And FNAF 4, but... I'm probably not going to record FNAF 2 on my channel, because I don't really like that one. It's just too hard for me. And yeah, that's a spoiler for later. But anyways, with this game... Well, you see, this is like the most realistic one to real life, about liability, risk, and making sure your pizzeria is safe, and then you have to like make responsibility for animatronics and all that. You really feel like what holding, hosting the real FNAF, like Freddy Fazbear's Pizza would be. And yeah. 
it's really like difficult when you go into these and you salvage them especially if you have those advertisements man i'm trying to get through them right now i might just like make a new game and just not accept advertisements that would make it way easier well next one is fnaf 4 halloween edition yeah I probably like this version more than the regular version of FNAF 4. It just feels more cool with these characters. I'm not sure if Nightmare Own, like, he's a good fit for this, but I really like these two. And Nightmare Balloon Boy. I mean, Mangle, it would be cool if, like, she was with Foxy. Because I think both of them, that would be awesome. And then same with these guys. Like, there was a custom night in FNAF 4 if there was then like maybe at 4 a.m. just like it switches over to nightmare it switches to them too I'm not sure or like at 2 a.m. for these guys but um there's like one reason or per there's two reasons in particular why this one's harder than FNAF 4 it comes with Mangle here and Nightmare Yo. So, Mangle, if you don't know, it acts exactly like Foxy does, but whenever she's in your closet, she makes static, so you can't hear these two. I've tried it before. One time, I, like, heard breathing on the side for Bonnie, and then, like, while Mangle was in the room, and I stopped him, and I... I was like, dancing, I did it, oh yeah, and then I went to the next door, shined the light without caring, and Chica was there, and I was like, oh crap, and then I just started laughing right after, but then Puppet, he just does not mess around, he is unlike Nightmare for many reasons, of which I don't know, of. but um, I mean, he's just harder in AI. And then he has his, like, creepy uh, music box sound. That is disturbing, man. So, number two. FNAF 2. I mean, two for two, right? Okay. This is a game that I probably won't ever play on my channel. Unless I've played all the other FNAF games and then you guys request it. But, anyways. This game is so hard when you get to the later nights that it's ridiculous like i can easily make it through nights one through five but then when it's night six man i can't do it so i'm gonna tell you guys a story with fnaf 2 about what happened to me one time and it involves toy freddy and shadow bonnie yeah so I was winding up the music box on night 6, 5 a.m., and I was like, Hey, 5 a.m., I'm finally going to beat night 6 after so long. And then I put my mask down for Toy Freddy. And then I look to the left, and Shadow Bonnie, the super rare Easter egg, is there, and he crashes my game. That made FNAF 2 unforgivable for me. It was evil. Luckily, I beat the night later, but... That made me so mad. I turned off my computer in frustration and didn't play it for, like, a week. But seriously, man, come on! I get, like, the rarest Easter egg in FNAF 2, or one of the rarest. When it's not the great time, the greatest time, I would have been happy to get the Easter egg any time other than that moment. It was cruel, man. Let's just move on. And if you guys have been keeping track, you know that my number one hardest FNAF game is Sister Location. Now, Sister Location. Where do I begin? Well, here's what I think. This is my thing. How I would rate each night. 
Night one, come on, easy peasy. Night two, easy peasy. Night three, getting harder. Night four, insane. Night five, meh, kind of hard. Entered. IMPOSSIBLE! Okay. So, as I was saying, the reason why on my channel, I've there's never been a video called Beating Ennard in FNAF Sister Location, is because I never beat him. And I played FNAF Sister Location in November of last year, and I still haven't beaten Ennard. Probably because I've taken a Sister Location break, because Ennard is rage-worthy. Even on mobile, I can't beat him. The real reason why I can never beat Ennard is because of the keypad bit. <laughs> That's how much I suck. But really, I have a hard time fighting Ennard, because also on iPad, I can always make a pass. So, then the other part is... That Ennard? Sometimes, he just gets into your office... When he's at his first phase, his first, like, stage, I've raged so much at it. And I will barely have any power left. It's evil. Yes, it is evil. And I hope it doesn't happen again. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. And by the way, Ennard sucks. Okay.